Now let's talk about the politicisation of the legal profession. Now allow me to read from the New South Wales Law Society website regarding the inalienable right of Aboriginal people to self-determination. Now this is this might seem a bit of a leap from what we've just been talking about, but it is related and we'll get there in a minute. But anyway, the quote is, the right to self-determination requires that people freely determine their political status and freely pursue their economic, social and cultural development, unquote. Now, Aboriginal people are already free to determine their political status and pursue their economic, social and cultural development. And one of the reasons they are able to do this is that our current legal system ensures it. Now, why can't lawyers understand that, in your opinion? Freya, I know you're just a student, but you're passionate about the law. Let's hear your opinion on it. Look, I think it's a real struggle in the 21st century. I think oftentimes the balance between pursuing social justice ends and actually just sticking to due process is often quite twisted and and I think a lot of times you see people pursuing social justice as as a way to feel morally vindicated when I think the best and most moral form of justice is being unbiased is being impartial and actually following the process and maintaining the rule of law that's exactly right equality before the law are they teaching you that at, at at law school these days? Again, there is a lot of variability between the professors and the tutors. I've had some excellent professors that have fundamentally understood the value of the rule of law and how that actually differentiates great societies that allow for human flourishing from those that do not. But again, there are others that prefer to pursue more biased forms uh, and interpretations of the law. So it's a mixed bag. Yeah. So, well, it brings us back to the, the, the wording of this particular exam question, and which was particularly left wing. Now, do, is in your opinion, is Sydney University law faculty training students to be leftist lawyers? Look, that's the danger here. The danger is that bias seeps into every student's form of engagement with the law, whether it's the syllabus that's taught or more concerningly, the exams that are set. And it's a very concerning reality that this is actually going on. And, and what you identified there, that we have a whole cohort of very left-wing biased lawyers, uh, that's really the danger. And that is honestly why I stood up and why I decided to say something, even though it's come at great personal cost. Because I think if you don't call these things out, at the source, at the root of the issue, which is in law faculties and in universities, these forms of agendas are pushed without any scrutiny and without any accountability. One of the comments I saw regarding you was that you are hoping to graduate into a profession when you have already pretty much outed you yourself as a conservative and that you will have difficulty uh, prospering in that profession because you're so right wing. What do you think about that? Look, if my political views inhibit me from a successful career in a profession, I don't think I want to go into that profession. And I think that comment there demonstrates the political climate that we're dealing with at the moment and the danger of this situation. If being right wing disqualifies you from any form of meaningful career in the law, I think Australia is in a much more dire situation than anyone can really imagine.